Alright, this is going to be a video of my Hampton Man Glendale stealing fan. And it's probably going to be taken down tomorrow because a fan collector named Mark Wilson is going to be coming down. And he's going to bring his, I'm buying a Casablanca on Delta 2 from him. It's in white and polished brass. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. It will be my first Casablanca. And it will be going up in here. And he might install it tomorrow, but if not, I'll just... It won't, it will be installed later on, but I'll be doing like, uh, like what I did with the Hanter Bay Carriage House too, when I took it down, I did like a last video of it, so this will be a last video of this as well, if it gets taken down, but I'll just put it like that for now. So yeah. Now, it is a bit dusty, I actually have been cleaning it lately. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> as you can see. It is a bit dirty. Something I am going to miss is the bleached oak blades because the constant bunker doesn't have bleached oak on it, but I'll get used to it. This one's pretty dirty. So is this one. This one is too, and this one's really dirty on this side. Yeah, this one's pretty dirty. But this one's the work. This one's the most dirty one. I don't even know when the last time I cleaned it. I actually try not to let it get too dusty, but this is the first time I had a fan get this dusty. I actually didn't even notice it too, until like a month ago how dirty it was. If it was on the white side, I would have noticed that it was just dirty. So yeah. Now I'm not going to show it on reverse, I'm just going to show it on high. I mean, yeah, not on high, I mean forward. So, so yeah. Well actually, yeah, I'll show it on reverse too, why not? So let me turn it on. Show it on low first. Now I'm going to show it with the light on. Now I really do think that the bleach oak blades show up really nice with the light on. It has a pretty good low speed on it. I'm going to show it with the light and with a medium. I show it to white. I'm gonna shut off the white and put it on high. And it does have a slight wobble on high. Sometimes it will wobble a lot, sometimes it won't. And the reason is because one time when I was on top, on my bed cleaning stuff, on, t on my bunk bed right there, um, I accidentally hit one of the blades with my arm. And it made it wobble. And I've been trying everything I can to put the blade back in alignment and it has some, I can't really do anything now. Unless, unless I really tried, but like, it wobbles a little bit, but it's not too bad. I don't really mind it. Before, 
it didn't wobble at all. It was just all the blades were in perfect alignment. It didn't wobble a tiny bit. It does blow a decent good amount of air, but I don't. Once I see the Casablanca installed tomorrow, if it is getting installed, I'll see the difference in the airflow. So this, in my opinion, is good for airflow, but that's the only reason why I say that is because I haven't experienced airflow from a Casablanca, so I can't really say it's amazing airflow, but it's not bad. So we, oh, let me put it on the light. Sorry about that. Yeah, I'm actually going to miss having it installed because it's been up there for the past few years. And it's one of the only fans, this is the only fan that's still installed when I, that's in my house, right? This is the only fan I still have installed now from like when I still had the other characters. Cause like those are the only two I had installed when I first started YouTube. So it'll kind of be sad to see, in some ways it'll be sad to see me take that one of the only fans that I had up when I first started. But... <laughs> It is part of, it is something that fan clubs do, they do switch out fans often, so, yeah. Alright, let me shut it off, and put it on reverse. Now let me stop it. And now, let me put it on low. No, this fan, I'm not going to throw it away, so don't worry about that. I never would throw away a fan at all. Even if it's not fixable, I'd always just use it for parts. So, yeah. Are you sure the light's on? So, yeah, this fan will be with my other fans. It will be in a box just like the Carriage House 2 is in. And I will do some floor testing with this fan in the future, like I did with the Carousel and the uh, Clarkston. So yeah, you guys will see this fan in the future, so don't worry. Now I know many people who are more into the Vintage fans will be happy to see this taken down because they don't really like Hampton Bays. And everybody likes their own, everybody has their opinions, and I can understand that they, if they don't like Hampton Bay, because how they've been doing recently, since, well, they never were high quality brand ceiling, of ceiling fans. But I, the reason I do like them, because I grew up around Hampton Bay, so when I was a little kid, they were really all I would see. So that's kind of the reason why I have a sentimental, I'm really, I have a sentimental attachment to Hampton Bay. Like, that's really all they were here. Just those and Harbor Breeze fans. And Harbor Breeze fans weren't that popular, low either when I was younger. They show up a little bit, but Hampton Bays are much more popular in this area. Like, if you see a new fan, I like a new ceiling fan, back then it would always be a Hampton Bay. They were Hunters, but Hunters were more pricey, so that's why they weren't, not so many people had them. It seems to go slower on reverse from what I'm guessing. Medium went a little bit faster on forward from what, was, from what I noticed. Let me put it on high. I think it wobbles a little bit more in reverse on high. And it goes, I think it might go a little bit slower on reverse too, I actually don't know. I don't really run it on reverse that much because this room, I like it, my room to be a little bit cool because I just like sleeping in the room that's nice and cool, even in the winter time. 
I don't like it too cold, so like I usually run it on low in the winter time if it's if it's not that cool in my bedroom I'll put it on medium. And it's very rarely I'll put it on high in in the winter time. Okay, I show it with the light. Yeah, and I didn't get this back in 2012 for my birthday. Or like maybe like a week before my birthday, but it was my birthday present. So this is a fan I will never get rid of because it's even if it's an, it's a newer fan. I can if I was to give it away, I can buy another one. This fan has is important to me because my dad got it for me. So yeah, let me shut it off. You know, maybe do a spin down time on it because I know some fan collectors like seeing that. And this fan has a, a longer spin down time than the code up emergency. The code up spin stops very quickly to be honest. Even if it's on high, it'll, it'll stop very quickly. Like maybe less than a minute. Or like maybe just a minute. This will take like a couple of minutes to so stop spinning. And it's also probably because this one's been used for a lot longer and the code up was in the box for the for over 30 years. So yeah. The smaller is more used up because it's been up for two years. The other one's only been up for less than a year. So yeah, if the constant market out to two gets put up tomorrow, I will put a video up of it. But if not, I'll still make a video of it, even if it's not installed. Like, I'll just do a video of it on a f just showing that I have the fan, kind of like when I had a, the Kodak Residency. Just, I showed it, like, in p all the pieces of it. But, yeah. This is a, even though it's a newer fan, this is not the best quality, I'm guessing. Like, the metal. The, it's made by Air Cool, and it's not a bad... It isn't a bad fan if you're looking for a fan to do the job, but like there are better fans out there. But like for me, this fan's really never been a bad fan to have. Like I've had it for a lot for the past few years, like I said already. So yeah. And it stopped. Oh no, it hasn't. Now it has. All right. And since I haven't shown my hand to make sure it has two in a while. I thought I'd show you that I do still have it. Here it is. Yep, so I still have it. And here's the other code up residency. I don't know if you can see it. I right, put the light on. See, there it is. And here's the code up too. And there's the, uh, the old light that used to be in the dining room that was hanging. Yeah, I just have that. That's good. So, alright. There you have it.